Okay, so for half bow, we'll go into bird the same way. I'll come up. Um, an easier way to go into half bow instead of going straight into bow is to uh, give me some support with, I don't actually think, I don't know, there's two ways to do it. Let me show you the way that I think would be easier is um, if, you're, if you have like a brand new flyer, it'd actually be easier to hold onto one hand and let them grab one leg and so they can push off of this hand a bit, right? And then from there, have them lift out. And the base is we want to make sure I have a lot of toes here in case you fall over, right? And I'll keep my hands up in case you fall over because if you do, I'll just be able to catch you really quickly. So when you base me, keep your hands okay, up like so this. so hands go to shoulders? Is easier to... Stop. Well, you can just keep it here. Okay. If if you can catch hand in hand, that would be probably better. But if even if you miss, I'll be able to <laughs> catch your shoulders still. So it's important to use the base later to keep your hands up. Because okay. uh, you can definitely fall over this way. So open support, right? So another way to do it is to go from bird and then just to let go of the hands and let you do it yourself. Because sometimes when you hold this hand, it makes the balance, throws it off a lot. So if you can just keep it in the feet there, that could be another way to do it. Um, most of the control is going to be in the feet, right? You will have to keep that midline coming in and out if you fall out. If you do fall out this way, instead of keeping your legs straight and being like a tree and going timber, just give me a little bit of a bend so that bend, but, but I'm also keeping my hands up. So your job as a base, if there's a fall, is always to try to keep your fly's torso higher than their legs, because if their legs land first, they'll be upright. Yeah. Right, so it's easy to collapse your arms, just keep them straight so they can push off of it. Okay, do you want to lay back down? Okay. Oh no, this might be so easy for you. We'll have to throw some really advanced stuff here. So bird? Yeah. You got in bird, right? You done bird enough times? Oh yeah. Okay. So now when you take the hands off, automatically my collapse towards you. So you really have to be slow and then now push your toes up. Okay. Right? All right, once they're up, I'll probably just go ahead and let go of both hands. And then now as I lift up, you'll keep giving, giving me those toes. And then, really right at it's some point though, once I grab my feet, you'll, you'll find that that um, you'll ease off the gas again. Because once I grab my feet, I'm lifted up again. You don't have to press the toe so much. You can ease off of it again. So there's a moment where you can feel that, okay? Uh, and then hands up, in case I fall.